Hi, and welcome to this first part of the tutorial where we're actually going to make things from scratch. And we will make a chess set um, because it's nice, it's versatile in, in models. And if you download the file that comes with this video, you will see a picture of uh, this pawn, the first set, the first piece of the chess set. Uh, you might not have this uh, tool screen. Uh, you can show it and hide it with the letter T. We will use that later, for, so for now I will hide it. Um, I, as a present, I give you already these first two lines and we will build the outer side uh, by extruding, by building upon the, the previous lines. Uh, by the way, this image is aligned to the front view, so if you rotate it, it will disappear. But it's easy to go back if you press numpad 1 and then you have the front view again. So to edit these lines, we have to go to the edit mode, which we find here. And then go to edit mode. We are now in vertex select mode, so we can select with the rise right mouse button these points. And of course we will start on here. Zoom in to have a better view. And then we press the E of extrude. And extrusion is something that we will do a lot. And then just press it again and again and follow these lines. It's a bit like primary school, very simple, kids can do it. And yes, there are more accurate ways to do it. And don't be too precise. It's uh, We are not making engineering parts for now. And more precise methods we will find along in the tutorials. Also, it doesn't really matter if they are not really on the line. We can adjust it later, but first we make the uh, the outside. It's kind of relaxed work. You don't have to think so much. And we follow the whole line until we are up. E for extrude, something easy to remember. After uh, you have done this so many times until you're at the top more or less, because now we will have to align this point with the lower point so they are on the same axis. So if we going to spin it around, uh, it will be a nice closed model. To do this, um, we have object snap. You can turn it on for always, like every move you do now, it will snap to a uh, certain vertex, but you can also kind of activate, activate it with the control key, which I prefer more. So if we move it in the X direction, just take with the left mouse button uh, the red arrow and then go to the lower vertex and then press the control key. You see a nice orange circle around this uh, vertex and then let loose your left mouse button and then it's perfectly aligned with the lower one. So now we have the whole uh, outline complete. We can do some tweaking by selecting a vertex and then with the letter G of grab and then rearrange uh, some points that points that you don't like. So do that until you are satisfied. And now it's time to uh, make an object out of this and we do this with the spin command. Um, there is a shortcut, but I will show it in the menu. So if you have the tools menu with the letter T, you will see uh, many uh, context related uh, buttons. And here we have the spin button. But before you, we use it, uh, we have to know that it will spin around the 3D cursor and it will spin um, aligned with, with your view. So first we have to make the 3D, 3D cursor exactly on this point. To do that we select this point and then with Shift S and then cursor to select it. And now you see the cursor is exactly on this point which is the center of our rotation. Like I said it will uh, revolve uh, aligned with the view so we need to go to the top view which is uh, numpad 7 and then we select everything with the letter A until everything is orange. And here we have the spin button. We see it has now rotated 
90 degrees and of course we want to have it 360 degrees so we change that here and this looks a bit rough and we can make that more fine by increasing the amount of steps you can do that by pressing with your left mouse button and move it to the right then the number will increase but you can also click it and then insert a number I think 64 is enough looks good to me but it's up to your taste and then we have it complete if we deselect everything it looks nicer and of course we want to have look at it as if it was a solid and we change the view here to solid but you can also do that with a Z and if you now go out of the edit mode into object mode again even the lines disappear and if you are satisfied then basically you're done there are so still some issues uh, before you can actually 3d print it but I will explain that later this is the tutorial for now and I wish you good luck with the next tutorial.